Welcome. And here we are with a new game. Uh, you might be able to guess what this is. You might not. Can you guess which one it is? Which one? Quick, hurry, guess. Ah, uh, you guessed right. It's Bloodborne! Hello! This is my favorite Souls game. Unfortunately, doesn't have the best variety of weapons. It could definitely use more variety, but still my favorite. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. His mouth is moving. So, I don't know if you can notice or not, but um, the only way I can record this is having a remote desktop and the remote desktop quality is not very good compared to what the other stuff would be. Oh, you can enter text video PlayStation computer's keyboard. Oh, am I supposed to use the keyboard? Oh, I can. Excellent. There we go. I'm glad that's over with. I don't know why they couldn't have just given me a uh, actual PlayStation pad that I could see. So, uh, gender, male or female? I think I would go with a female. I think the females in this game look far better than the males. Milk Twister. <laughs> Remember, it reminds me of a funny Game Grump story. Uh, Aaron told where he visited Japan. He went to a um, um, a cafe, and he was like saying in Japanese, "I would like a milk tea, please." And they were like, "What? We don't know what you're talking. What are you trying to say?" And he like picked up the menu and pointed to the picture of milk tea, and he's like, "This. I I want one of this." And they're like, "Oh, you want a, a milk tea?" Because that's what they call it. They call it milk tea in, like, bad English. Because that's the name of the food brand that was brought over. So they kept the name because, you know, you don't change the name. Uh, so he was saying milk and tea in Japanese. And they just didn't understand it. Because that's not what they call it there. So th that was a really funny story. Because he was rather embarrassed after all that. It's, he went through so much effort to learn Japanese and uh, be able to hold conversational Japanese conversations. And it all went for naught in the end. So, um, I'm going to be doing a arcane run. Now, this does not mean that you start Waste of Skin or Cruel Fate. No, sir, no. Because you still need the stats required to wield the weapons in the game. Even though they don't give you any bonuses for those weapons whatsoever. So you're still going to want some strength and skill, depending on what weapons you plan on using. Uh, I am mostly going to be going for the strength ones. So I think uh, high strength should be fine for my starting. The only thing I don't care about is probably going to be blood tinge and I mean even if you go like one of these it's still fine I don't think I'm gonna go for this one I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, the violent past Well, I'm past. It's fine. It's good. Oh, wait. Well, I'm past. Yes. Okay, here. So, 
decent mid mid road vitality, mid road endurance, high strength, um, below average skill, low blood tinge, and low arcane. So with this, I only need like, I think I need like one point in strength and three points in skill, and then I can just put arcane endurance and vit, and that'll be it. So I'm gonna do that. Appearance. Do I have any favorites to load? No, I don't. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't want them to be the most pale person in the world. Similar faces. I mean, it's a little too similar. Is there any difference, really? Whatever. Let's just do the, uh... Wait, lipstick? I didn't know you could do lipstick. I've never noticed this. Wait, does that change my face color? It's lipstick. Why does that alter my face color? Actually, I think it alters my whole skin tone of my body. What? Why? That is so bizarre that it alters everything. Okay. Hair. Well, there's a womanly hairstyle for you. Very feminine. I don't know. That one looks fine, doesn't it? That's a nice, normal hairstyle. I mean, it's a little fancy with the uh, comb over with the on the eye part, but it's a video game from Japan. What do you expect? You expect crazy hairstyles. Got a nice purple going. Beard? Uh, no, no plan to have one of those. Eyelash... Eyelashes? Eyelashes is an option. Can you see those? Can I see it? I can kind of see it. I mean, you can see it a little bit, right? Pupils. Right pupil color. Okay, let's uh... Wait, that's the right one. I want the right one to be green. Pretty nice looking green color. All right, left pupil. I will make the left one purple, so it matches my hair. So if it allows you to edit everything, you gotta make them different. Glasses. Oh. Getting a little too steampunky with those ones. A monocle that is under my hair, which means it doesn't really help because you can't really see out of that eye. Hmm.
I don't think she needs glasses. She's cool as she is. Wait, tattoo mark. Oh, I have a mark. It's like a scar. Wait, can I switch? Which side it's on? There. Color. Well, I mean, it's a scar. It should be a little visible, right? Give her some personality. Face shape. Uh, no, thank you. Young aged. It looks more like her kidney stopped working with the aged one. <laughs> My God, you've got to love the uh, the Souls character creators. They're just like. Ooh. Let's uh, let's stop before we ruin it completely. Oh, I hate those ones where they like give them the crazy monster faces that are like a weird color. Just just try to make it look at somewhat normal at least. I look totally normal for an anime character. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hopefully the quality is not too bad on this, and I can actually upload it. The color is much more pale than it is on my TV screen. It's much darker and more um, contrasty, so you can see it easier. It's really pale on this, so I'm going to see if I can adjust that after I get in there. You found yourself a hunter. Hmm. So, uh, my understanding of this game and what just happened, and what's going on, is that you came from a distant land and you had some kind of disease or whatever, and you came here to Yarnum, which is known for its blood ministrations to get cured and they gave you a blood transfusion that had beast blood in it 
And now you are somewhat part beast. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So basically, you're part beast now. Congratulations. So this is where Iosefka will be later. You can't get back into this room later. So I'm still not quite 100% sure on who um, Iosefka is speaking to at the start there, where she says, ah, so you find yourself a hunter. I think she might be speaking to German, but I'm not sure. So that guy right there, the corpse, I think that's the guy that just was in the wheelchair, because it looks like him. Um, but he's not really a character in the game. Like, he, he never shows up again, never does anything again, so I'm pretty sure that's him and he's just dead. He got wrecked. Invincible while you're open and stuff. Jeez. He doesn't usually chase you this far. for your worthless life. So, I mean, you can't just die. That... Uh-oh. Wait, I'm just gonna get hit, aren't I? I tried to uh, look over at the bridge and it screwed me. Just go sit down, please. Okay. Lamps instead of bonfires. Also, you can't sit down at lamps and respawn everything like you can at the bonfires. That's also different. Oh, I did say I was going to try to fix the contrast, didn't I? look a little better. Let me, uh... I guess this computer uh, monitor is just much brighter than my TV. Because my, my TV, I need it to be at the maximum in order just to be able to see stuff generally. So yeah, that looks a little better for the uh, darkness-wise. An abandoned doll. Oh, th thank you, moaning things. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand. Says who? Are you claiming I'm not allowed to use it with my left hand? That's what it sounds like. So. Um, saw cleaver, middle of the road, hunter axe, 
uh, more strength, heavy weapon, threaded cane, agile, pokey weapon. I just like the hunter's axe the most. It's the first weapon I ever used. Uh, threaded cane is also fine. I totally enjoy that. I don't like the saw cleaver. I don't like it at all. I'm not good at it. Uh, I think it has the worst transform state of all of them. And I just don't enjoy it. So either one of these is fine with me. Um, I'm not going to be using it forever, that's for sure. I'm going to be switching. I'm not 100% sure which weapon I'm going to use yet, but it's probably going to be one of the DLC weapons. Probably the Whirly Gig, because that is my favorite weapon, period. Just everything about it's awesome. So I'll go with the Hunter's Axe to start. The messengers offer you a firearm. I like the blunderbuss. Um, the 70 and 20 that you see there on the left, that's their damage. But the blunderbuss has a wider spread to it, which allows for easier viscerals. And even if you plan on using guns as like damage, you're going to want to take the blunderbuss until you beat Gascoin, because you want to be able to visceral Gascoin. And they gave me a notebook that I can use to leave notes. The door is open. I don't remember the door being open on your first trip. And it's Garmin. Hello, Garmin. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... Gehrman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. So that's Gehrman. He's kind of in charge of this place, and uh, he tells you lore and different things after you kill bosses. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. And don't have this, and I don't have this. I do have this. I'm sorry, I don't have the... I can fortify weapons, but I can't use the blood gems yet, because I don't have that part yet. Okay. And this is your stash. Out here to the left is another shop, which is where you buy things with insight. Uh, it doesn't open up until you get insight. Down here is the other shop, which is the main shop, and you buy stuff using souls. Also known as Blood Echoes in this game. And I will buy a Blood Vial, sure. I have nothing anyway. Oh! Gotta remember to equip my gear. Before I go out. So there we are. And that will be for this time. Come back next time and I will start the adventure. In where does it start? I think Central Yarnum is the first area. It's one part of Yarnum. It's Yarnum. The whole thing's Yarnum. At least the whole first part is Yarnum. <laughs> Come back then. See you next time.